Hi, Quantum Nerd here. Today we're going to be doing a small tutorial on how to build a small cabinet from IKEA. What I have here is the God Morgan cabinet. It's a reflective cabinet that has two doors and has reflective surfaces inside with glass shelving. So my mom actually already has three of these and we're going to try to add a little more storage to her area. Right now I have all the items laid out on top of the table. What you see here is the first box. There's actually two boxes. This is only one out of the two. I won't be going over every detail and every measurement of this, but I will put it on screen right about, let's see, where am I staying on the camera? Right about here. <laughs> All right, I think I got the cameras set up the way I want them. I got my cell phone in front of me and I got my Canon camera to my left. Hello. So I think we're ready to get started. Of course, you wanna look over the instructions and make sure we got everything we need. Um, looks like it wants me to check all the screws and stuff like that and latches. So let me get those out. It's probably in this box right here. Oh yeah, there's all of our latches. And it looks like it includes everything else. Perfect. All right, I'm gonna put this off to the side. Looks like this is the main bag right here with all the screws. All right, so let me go ahead and break this bag open right here because this is probably the most used items. I'll lay them out right here. Oh, this must be. So somehow all the screws got impacted inside this little uh, part, like the mounting bracket. Somehow they got stuck in there. Gotta try to wiggle them out. Come on, okay. And of course this piece will come off because this is just a, a cover for the uh, bracket mount, which I don't think we had last time on the first three that we built. It's very nice that they actually went with this. Gotta love that modern improvements, right? Gotta lay them out right there. Throw that there. Okay, first step was to take the boards and start peeling the protective uh, plastic off of them. All right, let's do that. And like I said, this is only the internal of the cabinet, not the actual doors. Actually, you know what? I think I'll leave it blue. It will add a nice little aesthetic to it, right? <laughs> nah. The reason mom wants these is they are pretty and they'll make the bathroom seem bigger. I mean, I mean if, if you ever try to add mirror to a room, you know that, you know, spectral illusion that it makes the room seem larger. I'm trying to peel these off without, without scratching them. It's not easy to do, they're all here pretty good. What I'll probably end up doing is fast forwarding through all of this so that way uh, we'll save time doing something menial like this and having you watch this for like an hour of me peeling. So uh, see you in a moment, enjoy the show. All right, oh, cameras are recording once again. All right, now that we got everything unwrapped and ready to be put together, now we can 
go ahead and make the H of this uh, cabinet. Let's see what we got here. So I think I'm gonna need this panel. And I think this panel, yes, yeah, got the two holes there according to the, to the diagram. And I'm gonna make sure, yes, okay. So we got everything we need. So I'm going to get rid of one of these, actually two of these boards. All right, so let me pull these away. Let's go ahead and build our H. So I'm gonna need these three boards right here. Let's do exactly the way the diagram entails it to. So we're gonna need these two pegs here. Let's space these out just a tad. I'm sorry if you can't really see everything. Kind of limited with the setup I have. So it's saying to put it in the, in the bottom piece right there. All right, just the bottom two closest to the edge. Make sure I got that in. Oh, bottom. Okay, we're gonna put this in the bottom one here, just the bottom hole at, on the edge, near the edge. Okay. Let's turn this around. Let's move this out of the way so I can get a little more room. All right, let's get this down here. Don't need the tools just yet. We're just laying everything out. Okay, so I got a peg on each side. Bam, and bam. All right, just plug them in. Doesn't look like that's gonna fit there, but it does. I'll be darned, it does. All right, hopefully, yeah, that looks right. Cross our fingers, y'alls. It's gonna be a long day. It's like a, I mean, even if we do make a mistake, we can always try to pull them apart. Ikea um, furniture is actually pretty simple for the most part, but there are times when there's room for error because there's so many pieces and you really have to follow these instructions. All right, wow. Okay, I think we're almost ready for the next step here. Let me grab the next two pieces. Okay, here's our next two pieces. Let's see if I can do this without making a, a terrible accident here. So you gotta make sure you peel everything off on these boards because once you hang them up, it's gonna be more difficult to, you know, take them off because it's gonna be seated up against something. And we don't want that. You pretty much will have to take everything apart. Very much like a, very much like a computer motherboard. If you forget to put on that uh, that shield and you put the motherboard in, you basically have to take the whole motherboard back out and that means removing all components. You know, your peripherals, your, um, excuse me, your, um, you know, your internal graphic card, your, your RAM sticks, your CPU. Actually, the CPU can stay in. But, you know, I'm just rambling right now, so never mind. Got everything off there, very good. Check, all film is off. And this board, let's see, will require a different screw. So it looks like it's gonna be this screw right here, showing the camera. It's got a little um, little hex, kind of a torque bit you got in place there. So let me find the little Allen wrench that came with it. It's like one of those little um, crank, little crank screws. All right, let's see. Gotta make sure everything's all lined up. Let me move this over just a bit. Next screw. Might be able to see this, I'm not sure. And you don't have to go too tight on these. You just need to get it just enough. And if you uh, do help happen over tighten, you'll see kind of like a dimple. You don't want that. This is not an actual glass. The glass uh, covering you see here is, is just that, a covering. Glass film over wood. <laughs> okay, next step is to get the 112996 screw. Let's get that. It looks like a Phillips. That shouldn't be too hard. Gonna need at least eight of them. So let me get the eight ready to go. Okay, I got the fifth one here. Let's see, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. 
So it's saying to place the screw all right, these two holes right here. I thought there was actually a fill screwdriver in there. Maybe there was one and I missed it, I'm not sure. But let's go ahead and get a Phillips screw a bit on there. Yeah. I used to say on Quantum Nerd, what kind of tool you need, you ask? A Phillips screwdriver, of course. What tools do we need to use, you ask? A Phillips screwdriver, of course. What tool will we need, you ask? A Torx screwdriver, of course. What tool will you need, you ask? A flathead screwdriver, of course. All right, <laughs> those are the days. All right, got that one in. Okay, we're done with one. Here comes the next one. One down, one to go. All right. Okay, got them both in place. I'm gonna go ahead and move this out of the way because there's no need for this for the moment until I get the next step in place. Coming up next is these brackets right here. Let's see, here's a little smart, a uh, little small screws and a bracket. Let's get the bracket out. Okay, so we're gonna place them here because that's where the line is. And the bracket has to be facing, I got this right? Yes, yeah, gotta be facing that way towards the line. All right, so we got that on there. Now we need to put on the little bracket hinges for the door. So let's get uh, two of those. It's gonna be a one on each panel. So I'm gonna need two of these. Okay. Put that right there for now. Get it out of the way. We don't wanna be knocking things over, causing havoc across the land. All right, so it looks like I gotta count the holes here as I'm not sure where exactly. It's gotta be almost dead on. Oh, actually, there they are right there. Two circles right here. They're actually a little more distinguished than the rest of them. They're a little more in the center than the rest. So this is gonna go inward. This little tab here is gonna go inward towards the border right here. Okay. Now looking at the picture, it just shows him holding down with two thumbs, pushing down the screws. Let's see if that works. Be interesting if it does. Okay, curse snap. Okay, so it only goes in partial way. Then you gotta screw them in. Okay, makes sense. This is pretty easy. I like this. All right. Got that one. Let's go back to our other board. Same thing here. It's got a face towards the border, the back piece right there. Okay. Just gently push down with two thumbs on the screws and then screw the rest of the way in with a Phillips screwdriver. Next page, that was page nine. All right. Now we gotta add a few more components on here. Okay, let's move this over here. Let's bring our bag of, our bag of junk here. Okay, I think I see the one I need, so I'm gonna put these over here for now. Hey, what's up? So I guess you guys are wondering why I'm wearing a different shirt. So uh, yeah, this is actually the, the next day. My uh, cell phone died, which was the camera for this right here, but my Canon camera caught all this. So uh, sorry about that, but my audio, my good audio is on, is connected to my phone with a lavalier mic as we speak. And that's why I decided to uh, wait till the next day is so my phone can charge, fully charge. So uh, let's continue. All right, I'm gonna have to mount these circular screw mounts. I'm not sure exactly what they're called, but they clamp onto the uh, screw uh, end right here. 
hopefully that will be nice and fastened and we won't have to worry about a thing. You should only have to push them in with your finger, but if you need to, you can get a little something to tap it in there like a screwdriver or a little hammer, but it should just go in just fine. Also want to show you guys on this little uh, screw mount, there's a little arrow here. You want to point that to the outside where the screw will insert into. And then when you turn it, it will clamp on there. That's how it looks like from the side. It's like a little locking mechanism. Really cool how they, how they engineered that. There are two on each side of every board where the bottom board will clamp onto. Nice little convincing snap in. <laughs> okay, it looks like we got some more components we gotta add to this board. Looks like we gotta get the um, little piston. You don't wanna screw too tight. You don't want to dimple the cord. Uh, make the reflectiveness look kinda bad. I mean, it won't matter if you do it on this side because this will be generally on the inside of the of the cabinet so but just bear in mind good practice not to do that so we need to add these two pieces on each side of the cabinet i'm going to turn this board around so i want to turn so i want to move the camera I'll show you what i mean it will help you mount the the piston on there and it'll, it'll latch right there so when the door closes you can push it that way Kind of like a little torpedo, don't it? <laughs> I'll call it torpedo head. All right, should go right on top of here. Let's see if it, and it just slides like that. Okay, let's do the other board, same thing. Let's get our little cross piece. I'm not sure what to call it exactly. So this one's gonna be heading away from the border because of the uh, opposite side it's gonna be on. Oh cool, it's even got a little um, screw here to adjust the tension of the, of the piston. And actually, I'm not sure which side is top and bottom. I guess we'll know at the end. All right, now that we've got our components mounted onto the board, now it's time to slot them in. The instructions suggest that we slot in the board with the L metal bracket there. So when you insert this, make sure that you insert it with the border um, that's aligned with this border here. It should just slide right in. If not, we can adjust the screws. I look like it went in perfect. Okay. So now I'm gonna turn this around so that we can slide it in. Here's our mirror, there's my phone, and there's my Canon camera. I don't know if I can see it, yep, there it is, okay. 
Hold the presses, I forgot something. So the instructions call for wooden pegs, one on each side of the board. Gotta put those there to help us guide it in. So both mirror panels have a hole right here in the corner to allow it to be mounted onto the wall while affixed to the cabinet. So when we slide this in, this hole has to line up with this L bracket. So I'm gonna go ahead and slide this in. Oop. Kind of warped at the bottom there, so I gotta make sure I flex it up a little bit. Oh, many, many fingerprints. Okay, can I get it over the bracket so that it won't miss a line? There we go. It's gotta fit in this, in this piece here, and I can't reach it. I have to come around the bottom to pop it up into the border groove. It's like a little insert right there. Time for the second panel. Again, we gotta make sure that when we put this on, that this hole lines up with an L bell bracket. So now it's gonna be in reverse. Gotta make sure they line up. Do the groove. Push this up just a little bit, and there you go. All right, let me get my other, let me get the bottom board. All right. Let me get those two wooden pieces here. Put it one on each side. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and put that metal bracket on here for the other side. That should have done in the beginning, but neglected to. All right, now it's ready to be slotted into the side. Just like that. Screw in the sides. Lock it into place. Okay. So we're not gonna put the doors on just yet. They suggest we do that when we have it already mounted. That way the doors won't get in the way during the process. There are also two screws that have sharp ends on them that allow you to uh, keep the board flush to the cabinet. Doesn't say exactly where to put them. They, they just say, just put it on the back. On this diagram here, it says put them on each top and bottom there. So I'm gonna try that. Let's see how well it goes. If not, I'll just cut this part out, right? <laughs> Gotta drill them into the line here. See if this works. I'm a firm believer. Oh, it actually helps space them out more. I see why that's effective. Now it's time to move on to the doors. I'm gonna go ahead and get them prepped up so that by the time we finish mounting the cabinet, we'll have it ready to go. Okay, so the next step we gotta do is attach these three brackets to this door, and then we can hinge it to the cabinet once it's been mounted. So I'm gonna go ahead and start with this side here. Again, you shouldn't have to put too much pressure on that. It just kinda just snaps in, in place. All right, got those three in. Let me grab my screwdriver. And uh, one thing I didn't show 
earlier was that on these brackets, they have these little um, yellow uh, mounting expanders. So when you turn the screw, it'll start expanding the, the mount and it will tighten it into the, into the grooves. Again, a quarter inch turn, so it locks the latch in place. All right, well, the next thing to do is get that cabinet mounted to the bathroom. Be right back. If you like this video, please hit that like and subscribe button. Thanks for watching, and until next time, take care.